everyone welcome back to the video I haven't done it in a while because i'm taking a little break i don't really have any ideas or stuff so but i am working on some projects uh well one project actually and that project is trying to mod wars rock and uh, the city has some things for like the menu which has been around for years now um ps really hasn't seen any love so i decided to take it a visit and get some stuff uh working um, I've been doing script, well not really script editing, but mostly just, you know, looking at scripts, analyzing them, seeing how they work. Um, but I figured out how, uh, well, recently actually, to get the debug menu working. It's actually quite easy, quite simple to do. Uh, you'll need a couple things. You'll need a, a PC, obviously. Uh, you'll need an internet connection uh, from your PC to your PS, PS3, or at least have them both on the same network. Uh, you'll need a install of webman mod and you'll need to be on custom firmware um most likely dex would be the best but i don't think it really matters i'm pretty sure it doesn't matter but it might who knows first thing you'll need to do is you will need to make sure that you have ps3 and mapi enabled so to do that i'm gonna head over to setup inside of webman mod Want to go down here and you want to go down to XMB in game patch shortcuts. Make sure that PC and API is enabled as well as delete just calls. Uh, and then once that is enabled, uh, click on save and then you can reboot your PS3. And once the PS3 is rebooted, you can go ahead and mount your copy of Warriors of Rock. And once you have a of that and you're booting the game, just sit on the screen that says that tells you about save game. Uh, you know the, the, the save game one before you get into the main menu. I uh, make sure also make sure that you have a deal see that it's finished scanning as well. I'm gonna head over to PS3 and API, and you want to go down here to processes commands, and you want to click on up here in the process. You want to put on LV1 memory, and then click on load. Now, once you've done this, uh, this is kind of a guessing game. Uh, the offsets ch change quite frequently for this value. Now, the offset that I'm at currently, which is what, what my game is looking for, is 4F, yeah, 4F71470. Now, the 71470 stays the same each time. That does not change. But the first two bytes in the offset does change. Now, it changes between uh, 0 or 1 through 9 and A through um, A through F. So it, it can be one through nine on the first byte, and then one through nine on the second byte, or it could be, uh, you know, second byte it might be, or I guess bits, <laughs> uh, to be very specific here. <laughs> the second on the second bit it might be, you know, like one through nine or a through f. But the first offset of this part I have not seen it be like a letter. It's always not a number, so that shouldn't be an issue. But it's really is a guessing game to figure out which offset it is. Um, I think what I might do is you know make, make a script um to 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 find the offset probably what i'll probably do is is do it in srx find the offset and once it finds the offset it'll just plug that the offset value into um to edit the memory correctly so once you now this won't be the same for you this will be different but as you can see once you finally click offset you know because the first the first four bytes is going to be 2a f9 2804 and then uh, you know it's correct as well because the rest of it will be this. Now this will be a zero zero for you. It'll be a zero zero for you, for you guys. But I've already changed mine and I, I didn't want to reboot the game, so mine is already set correctly. So this is what it would. This is what it should be once the debug is enabled. But if that's what it already is, okay. Um, but it, like, if you have this. And then all after it is zeros. So you're at the wrong offset. That is the wrong offset. That's not the correct one. So you need to make sure it is exactly this. But that is, but but that zero one is a zero zero. Now, the reason you need to be on custom firmware is because you have to use uh L1 poke. Um, you can't you can't edit L1 memory on hen. Um, I, I think maybe once I do an SPRX, it might work on hen. I'm I'm guessing it won't. I don't know to be honest. But the command you want to run now, if I get the right amount, the command, the command you want to run, okay, is poke, 
poke.lb1, okay, and then a question mark, then the offset, okay, the offset is after the question mark, the offset, so my offset right now is 4f7 one four seven zero. so whatever offset you have is what I want to put, I'll just type it in so it's easier for you guys to understand, so this should be the first part, the second part is going to be an equal sign, now it's all plain for me because I've done it so many times, but for you it's not going to, so in the description and on screen probably, I will have the bytes that you have to put after here. So after the, after the equal sign, it has to be exactly this. And this is what I already have a set. So I can set it again. If I press enter, it will set that value again. But for you, it'll change that zero one. Or sorry, change that zero zero to a zero one. And then once you go back in here, you're your little page. Then for you, it'll show up as this. And if you go into the game. And you're going to go to the main menu, you go up to, and you go up once, um, or go down the way, you will see the debug menu is there, as well as in-game. Now, fair warning, a lot of the functions in the menu do not function properly because there is missing scripts. It's not a complete debug build of the game. This is just allowing us to, to execute most of the debug scripts in um, Warriors Rock, but um, a lot of it is broken. Uh, for example, you can't like on 360, you'll be able to go into quests and you could finish all the chapters, but you can't do that, unfortunately, um, just due to the way that I, I've done this. Uh, eventually, that will be fixed. That will be a, a, complete, a more complete menu. Um, uh, right now, this is kind of a, a proof of concept, and it's not really going to work easily for everyone out there. It's not going to really be a complete solution, I should say. Uh, I mean, it is kind of, but it's not going to be a, a very good one option for for, for, for most users because not anyone's gonna really understand this stuff and I, I completely get that and if you guys have any questions any any uh, any problems with this let me know it, either in the comment section or a better way to contact me is on discord my discord is it will be in the description uh, it's been changed since discord changed the uh, stuff so yeah you anyway, guys hope you guys hope this helped you guys out hope you were able to get the menu working like I said they should work I tested myself I've had other people tested and down below will be a link to a video that I posted last night when I got us working, um, showing it off and showing that it's on real hardware and it works now. This will also work for RPCS3, I'm guessing, but unfortunately, I don't know if it will work exactly. Uh, you can use TNG, I think. I'm not really sure. I'll test stuff, so um, whenever that is when we will test, I will post a video showing that off. So, yeah, peace out.